Hello, fellow Star Wars fans, and welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a journey through the first season of Ahsoka, and today we're diving deep into the final episode titled The Jedi, The Witch, and The Warlord. There's so much to unpack, so get ready for an in-depth review. But before we get started, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest Star Wars content. Alright, let's get into it. The Jedi, the Witch, and the Warlord wastes no time picking up right where we left off in the previous episode. Our core trio of Ahsoka, Sabine, and Ezra are gearing up for their final confrontation with the enigmatic Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's a straightforward premise, as season finales tend to be, but this episode takes its time to let us appreciate the characters' interactions and the weight of the moment. One standout moment is when David Tennant's witty saber builder, Hayek, imparts wisdom to Ezra about the importance of patience. It's a subtle reminder that sometimes, you can't rush into things haphazardly, and this episode takes that lesson to heart. Now, let's talk about the action in Ahsoka. While the Star Wars franchise has always delivered thrilling action sequences, it's been a while since we've seen something as creatively delightful as the horde of undead stormtroopers in this episode. Director Rick Famayla, known for his work in other genres, proves he's got a knack for horror in this unbelievably fun Star Wars sequence. Sure, we may not see groundbreaking innovation in Star Wars action scenes, but Ahsoka knows how to have a blast. The undead stormtroopers bring a unique flavor to the formula, making this episode one of the most enjoyable Star Wars action experiences in recent memory. One thing that Ahsoka consistently gets right is its characters. Even when the plot occasionally falters, it's the characters who shine. In The Jedi, The Witch, and The Warlord, we see characters with complex histories, and their interactions are at the heart of this show's appeal. Though some might argue that Ahsoka relies heavily on viewers' familiarity with Star Wars Rebels. There's no denying the growth and development of characters like Sabine, Ezra, and Ahsoka herself. Their chemistry might have been bone dry at times, but they've become undeniably fun to watch. As we reach the end of Ahsoka's first season, it's time to reflect on the series as a whole. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, with moments of brilliance and some shortcomings. The show has sometimes leaned too heavily on its predecessors, but it's also pleasantly surprised us along the way. Rosario Dawson's portrayal of Ahsoka has been a highlight, showcasing her evolution from a passionate and ill-tempered Jedi to a calculated and dignified character. Ahsoka isn't just an opportunity for her to don some nifty cosplay. It's a chance to witness a character's growth and transformation, which has been a rewarding experience. Now, let's zoom out and look at Ahsoka in the broader context of the Star Wars universe. While it may have had its ups and downs, it's a testament to the enduring appeal of this galaxy far, far away. Ahsoka reminds us of the magic that drew us into this franchise in the first place. It's also worth noting that Ahsoka leaves us with many questions and possibilities for the future. What lies ahead for our beloved characters? What new adventures and challenges await them? These are the questions that keep us excited for what's to come. In conclusion, the Jedi, the Witch, and the Warlord may not have stuck the landing perfectly, but it's been an enjoyable journey. Ahsoka may have had its ups and downs, but it's the characters that have kept us invested. I'm excited to see where this series takes us in the future, and I hope it continues to surprise and delight us. As we wrap up this review, I want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure through the first season of Ahsoka. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, may the Force be with you as we eagerly await what lies ahead in the Star Wars universe. Until next time, 